Very well, and welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun 2 The Last Age. So, last time we. We completed the third optional dungeon. Now, before we start the fourth and final one, I want to go back to Yalam. Because we have some stuff to do. Well, one, to be precise. Uh, I also need to switch my team around because I have the other team up here. So, Felix, Isaac, Jenna, and Guy, they're all the level that I want them to be for the final boss. You don't have to be this high, but I just wanted to do it for reasons. Now, we're going here. And we have, well, we can talk to Sunshine. And. We'll give him the last piece of the Oriolcan. But not before we save. There we go. Just in case we get something that we already have or... You know, there's a... Well, you'll see. So we're gonna have him work on Oriolcan. And remember, from Oriolcan you can get the Excalibur. Which is one of the strongest weapons in the game. It's only a 5% chance, but... If you save before you give him the Oriolcan, and you know, you do this, you do this, and then if you go back to him and it's not the Excalibur, you can just reset the game until it does. And it's a staff, a Nebula wand. Okay. Who wants this? Well, ye, I guess you can take it. Instead of the Mazamune, which we'll give over to. I know I'm not gonna give it to Isaac for a reason. Because Isaac does have the Excalibur. I will use the other three. the other two pieces of. Ori Hulk and I got the Excalibur. So we're gonna give it to him. Also, from the other piece of the Ori Hulk and I got this the Millennium Helm. It raises HP, gives 20 more HP. I'm not gonna give it to Felix, we might give it to Isaac. Sure, why not? You can take it, Isaac. And that being said, we are all prepped for the final optional dungeon. Remember that to go in there you need all 72 Dizinis. So we're gonna go ahead and teleport out. Back over here. This dungeon has a lot of stuff in it. Mainly there are few enemies that drop um, forcible items. And even Ori Halkan. Yes, you can get Ori Halkan in this dungeon. Again, the chance is very low. 1 in 256 from the enemy that drops it. But hey. Alright, so if we go... No, it's not this way. Where, where, where am I going? I mean, the dungeon is that way. But the way you go into the dungeon is from the main part of town. Because there's a huge teleport circle right here. And that brings us into this room. Now, we step over to these places and the game will verify that we indeed have... Old Zinnies. So we need 18 the Zinnies per color or element. That was the Earth one. Here we have fire. And on the other side we'll have wind and water. That's gonna be watered up here. And finally, down here, we're gonna have wind. Alright then. With that, we can officially begin the dungeon. And as we begin the dungeon, the first thing we find is a summon tablet. We inherited the power of the land to create a great darkness. If you crave this power, attack this late. 
I don't know why he says attack this late, because you don't really have to attack it, but just examine it, but sure. We'll grab the second to last summon in the game. Which is... Charon. You need a Venus and two Jupiter to use it. A Venus... We... Okay, we can actually show that off in the next fight. Because I'm not sure when I'll be able to show that off. Catastrophe is one that we still have to show, but then... That one I know when except when I can show it. This guy dragon over here is the enemy that drops Oriolcan very rarely. And this is the Unleash of the Excalibur. Legend. Which sometimes only hits once, sometimes hits three times, which is nice. And we kill that guy in one hit. Yeah, if the Excalibur manages to hit three times, it's it can be stronger than Megiddo, but Megiddo like, it's always a 3 times multiplier. The the other one is that it's not always a 3 times multiplier. Sometimes it's not. So I go ahead and use this. Let's see if we can see it. I want to show off that summon and then we're going to reset all of the zinnies. There we go. And that's Charon, that also has a chance to insta-kill. He also got a Psy Crystal, apparently. Alright then. Where do we go? Up here? No, that's the shortcut for later. Okay, good. What else do we have here? Okay, so the Bombound... The Bombounder here. Bomb bounder, Yeah, Bombounder. They drop Salamander Tails. And the Mad Demon instead drops uh, the Lachesis rule, which is the strongest staff in the game. Which I might try to get off screen if I if I want, and if we just don't randomly get it. And this is a very interesting room. This is a puzzle with a stone that moves exactly like you, except it's like mirrored. Only on the left and right. And this one is easy, and then we're gonna get another one later on. That's not as easy. Again, a lot of, lot of cool stuff in this dungeon. Nice. If we don't kill the Mad Demon now, never mind. I was thinking if we don't kill it, because he has a lot of HP. If we don't kill it, I could have used a Jupiter the Genie to, to kill it. And it gives me a 4 in 255. 256, sorry. Chance of getting his drop. I don't know where that goes. Let me go up here. There was another path, wasn't there? Two mad demons. One might actually survive this. They're possibly the most annoying enemy here. Okay, one survived. Grand Gaia. Okay, so we can try to get the Jin kill. I'm pretty sure he's very low. Do, do, do you even have Kai Breath is in low? You don't have anything. But maybe Blitz is gonna be enough? Not yet, huh? Uh, about you try try another offensive one. Squall, about this. I did get the Zin kill. We didn't get it like as well, whatever. We're gonna try as much as possible, but I'm not expecting to get it. Because the drop rate is super low anyway. You know what? I switched breath with Squall. So that guard does have at least a offensive. The genie of the Jupiter element. Because if you have to. If you find another one of those guys. That's how we'll take care of it. But yeah, other than that, there aren't really many dangerous enemies here. Just keep an eye out for the uh, for the for the dragons, because they drop they may drop Oriolcan. I think they might be weak to Jupiter as well. I'm not sure. Okay, so we just touch all those. This is just a tutorial for a later puzzle. 
We need to touch all of the circles in order to activate the lift. Alright, we're getting a Salam Undertale. Huh. Okay, so we push this. Then what? Do we go up? No, that's the dead end. Okay, so we go the other way. There's also some weird glitch in this area that we'll we'll see later. It's not in this area. It's almost near the end. Mm, can we do some area effect here? Fire Dragon, sure. Yeah, three hits. There you go. 750. Let's see how much this does. No, it does, still does more damage, but... But Felix is built on attack and Isaac kinda isn't, so you can feel the difference a little bit, but yeah, potentially the unleash of the Escalibur is the strongest thing in the game. You have to really work on it though, if you you have to put some effort into making it the best unle the best unleash. Two Sky Dragons, nice! Let me see, are you guys weak? Well, we find out now, because this is Jupiter. Yeah, you're weak to Jupiter. How about this? 448. And you're down. Okay. Oh, that, didn't, that, that put it in sleep. That, that's the perfect chance for me to unleash a Squall. Which hopefully will kill it. Yeah, okay. No Realcon for me. Well, it's fine. What do we have here? Dark Matter. I might try to get a Dark Zord off screen with that. Because I did not get a Dark Zord, but I got... Off screen I got this. The Terra Shield. Which raises attack. By 5 points, wow. That's a lot of, po a lot of attack, but yeah. I would like to get the Terra... The the Dark Zord, because that way Gar has the full has the full set. He doesn't have the armor with the dark uh, that is made from the dark matter. But at least I would like him to have the weapon. Alright, so let's see if I remember this. Go down, right? Then I have to go around here, I think. Yeah, there we go. And now we take the lift. Okay, what do we have? Not two of these guys. So pretty much every single monster here has a cool drop. Except maybe the the the, the, the mummies. They drop cyclists, that's we already seen them. They, they kinda sucks. But all of the other monsters they have something cool. Salamander Tail, Zoryalkan, Lacazis Rule. If you know how to manipulate RNZ, this place is a, a gold mine. But literally, since you can find gold. You know what I mean. Uh, okay, we'll make a shortcut. In case we need it. And we'll keep going. Okay, so this is the room where the glitch can happen, but... There's this room and then there's another room. But we can't do this right now, we need to finish the room first. Now, I'm going to go ahead and lift this. So our objective is to bring the stump all the way to the left. We're gonna go up here first. And in this room, walls are kind of a suggestion, because you can go up here for whatever reason. It's this square right here that is... There's no collision, you can just go up. Uh, but there's nothing you can do up here. Uh, you can walk around in the nothingness, but... You still get random encounters. But there's nothing you can do. You can just walk for as much as you want, nothing happens. You don't skip anything, you don't do anything. So yeah, it's something that you can do. If you want. Alright, that being done, we'll go back in bounds. 
and proceed on this way. Let's see, this brings us here. What do we do from here exactly? I think we have to come here later. Because we can go down. I'm trying to think what the game wants from, from me here exactly. If I, can, I can go down and come up from the right side. What does, uh, what, how does that help me exactly? I can push this. Or do I just do this? But then it resets. Alright, we'll figure it out. Let's just go down. See what we can do from the other side. Oh, poison flow, really? One deadly poison. Okay. Yeah, these guys are also kind of annoying when they do this. It's mostly because you have to heal the, car the afflicted character after battle and they take a lot of damage if they take an action. Uh, let's go ahead and use this. Anybody has the heal poison? You have it. And we're gonna lift this again. This is possibly the, the hardest puzzle in the entire dungeon too. Figuring out these stumps is not easy. So we can jump down here. And that's it. Okay, so we have to go around this way. And not a lot of treasures in this dungeon either. Like there's an Ori Alcon chest, I'm sure of that, but there's no like no weapons or armor. And technically the Ori Alcon is a weapon or an armor, depending what you get, but. Alright, what do we have here? Oh, one of those, okay. There there are three of these things. This one's not that bad. Okay, go up. That way? There you go. Now, what does the game exactly want me f to do here? Do I push this here? That is stuck there now. Oh, okay. And then what? Then I have to go around and get... Jump from the other side, push this the, the stump all the way there. I think I get it? More or less. Again, that is by far the artist, the artist, the artist puzzle. If you don't consider, I guess, the boss fight at the end a sort of puzzle, because it kind of is. Like, it's a hard fight, but it's some sort of, like, puzzle fight, because the action it takes are always the same actions. So you have to kind of play around with that. Ah... Uh. Or we'll do, we'll do it in the way I do it, which is to summon rush and hope for the best, which usually works. With a bit of luck, it works. Also, I want to talk about some synergies that we got. Well, especially Garrett. Garrett's got an interesting synergy. Well. Felix here does have the highest level of well, wish, which is pure wish. But the important thing is... Quick Strike. It's only 12 PP, and what it does, it does a Jupiter attack that multiplies your attack by 1.8. And that's pretty strong. It is possibly one of the strongest things you can do in the game. Okay, so we push this all the way here. It gets stuck. Now we go around one more time, right? We go around, we push that... Yeah, 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 that's how we do it. We go around one more time. Yeah, that's a little convoluted, but sure. I can get around that. It's not a big deal. Getting a lot of unleashes here, which is nice. I mean, Isaac... I think Isaac has the... Well, he has the Hyper Boots for sure. He might have something else that increases the unleash rate too. Alright then, so this thing, we move it to the side. 
Right, so, yeah, so what you can do now is you can lift this. Then you can reach the stump and move it all the way to the to the left. Yeah, yeah, that's how you do it. And there is a glitch with that stump that you'll see in a minute. As soon as I'm able to push it all the way to the left. Alright, so we take the stump, move it all the way to the left. And I'm going to save my game right here. Now look at this. I push the stomp and I keep holding left. And I should... No, wait. Is, do you have to have the room clear? It might be. Yeah, there you go. So if the room is clear, you can go on top of the stomp. And at this point, you're stuck. You can't do anything. You, If you save your game, you're stuck up here. The only way to get out is to use the Sanctum trick to go to the last sanctum you visited. Uh, so, yep, there you go. I'm just gonna quickly reset. Hopefully. There we go. And continue. There we go. And that's that. Now what do we have? Let's see. What about this side? Okay, we definitely have to do this puzzle. This is the hardest one. Let's see. Here we go. Why do you need to go up? So you can't go that way. Hmm. How do I do this? Alright, let's see. If you go up. Hmm. I can't even find a way to start this. Come on, game, please. Oh, first strike, get out. So if you go over here, I can't move, right? Oh, that's how you do it. Okay, and then you kind of have to do this. Then you go all the way down. Now, up here. Okay. Um, I have a little problem here, though. It's going to fall, right? Yep. Okay. Let's try that again. I think it's all the way up here. And then you have to go around this block. All the way over here, I think. Go up. Then up again. There we go. Got it. I think this leads to the Oriol contest. Yes, it's this one, 100%. There it is. So if you want, you, could, you should probably go out. And use that. Oh, we got deadly poison on one of them. No, that's going to stay alive for much longer. There you go. It's dead. Oh, you managed to hit me? Really? How about this? Okay. So we're approaching the last section, I think. If we pass this area, we should hit... Yeah, this is the last part. I think you go right first. I don't remember. No, you go left first. Or up. Is it up or left? Alright, we, we'll never know. And we'll figure it out in a second. Again, wow. One. Dust one, okay. Alright, here we go. Come on. Give me the super rare drop. Nope. Again, the only thing I would probably work for her is off screen is the Lacazis rule. Just to show it off, but 
Alright, let's try left. This could be a good starting point. Speaking of Lacazis rule, you guys. Come on. We got a lot of rare drops in this playthrough. Can we get one more? No, we can't get it. Apparently not. Okay, what up, what's up here? So it doesn't change whether you go to the right or to the left. Uh, no, there must be something that... We'll see, we'll see. Oh, I see. And now I have to go through the center. Yeah, I get it. I have to get through the center now. Okay. You do... do this, why not? A little area of effect, and this... This will kill that one, and then... That one survived. Oh, Isaac is unleashing almost every turn. Very high unleash rate, like... Wh what does he have? Maybe the, is the... Does the Arinex tunic raise his crit? Raise attack and evade, yes. So it does increase your unleash chance. So he has at least two pieces of equipment that increase unleash chance. That's why he's unleashing that often. And we're going to use sand. There we go. Up on the other, pop out from the other side, and that should lead us over here, so we can open the shortcut. And we're kind of done with the dungeon. We have to fight the boss now. Okay, I'm gonna take some damage now. What about the other guy? Vital Moon 1 HP? Nope. Thankfully it failed. But, are we getting the super rare drop? There's two of them, here's hoping. It's still alive? What the hell? Okay, definitely, he's definitely dead after this. Yep, there's no way. No, we didn't. Okay, it's fine. This should be it. Yes, uh, that's it. So, we'll fully heal. Definitely want to go into the boss fight fully healed. There's a little puzzle we have to do. But it's as simple as to recreate the image down there. And then we'll see, because, again, I have an idea on how to do this, which is somewhat rushing. And we do have to switch around to the genies a little bit. Because we need to pull out a bunch of stuff. Alright, here we go. You go up here. Yeah, before we push that in place, though. I'm going to push this all the way. Over there and then straight up. go go this goes here this goes to the left and that one also goes to the left and we're done I will probably show you the boss and uh, what he can do well maybe you, you're going to see it anyway even with the summer rush it has like I think it has 16,000 HP or something like that regenerates 200 per turn and 30 MPs or something like that or BPs in this case here we go, we've done that, and the battle begins as soon as you activate that platform, so you have to save right here. Or, I think you can save up above, but I'm not sure, but, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do some changes in the party, I'll be back in a second. It's gonna take a while. Alright, guys, honestly, I am kinda done with this. This is like the fifth attempt at this boss fight. 
I'm the shadow of the keep. I'm the shadow of the keeper of light. If you want the sun's power, show me your own. Dullahan. He's bad. I'm done with this fight. <laughs> it's been taking me forever. Uh, we can do another one. Really? Sure, we'll do that, and then we'll we'll do a granite. We can do three do three of those, and then or we can stop his first turn. No, I'd rather granite. Just give me a barrier, and then we'll do the um, Daedalus. Daedalus is our summon of choice because it hits twice, and the second hit is what we want to see a lot of. Okay, basic attack is fine. Here's another Daedalus. I think now it seems like in order to get the second hit, the caster has to be alive. Which kind of does make does not make sense, but sure. Okay. I have a weird idea. Element swap. Okay. And another basic attack. Okay. So here's what I'm gonna do now. Basic attack. Ground. Like it's not gonna be enough, right? Because I do ground basic attack. So if I, you know what? I'll do this. Shade, ground, basic attack, and Petra. Does that make him lose two turns? It should, right? Because he's got three turns. It should let make him lose two turns. Unable to move. Are you for real? No way, dude! I thought that would make him lose two turns. So yeah, he can use Charon and that can kill. And depending on RNG... Okay, we only got one card down, which is okay. Okay, here's the first one. Boom. And here's the second one. We need to get four of those. And here's the third one. If we can get just one more, then we have a chance of doing this. We should be able to. Okay, who's faster here? Boys, who's faster? Uh, agility. Two, two, two. Is okay, so Isaac is faster. Therefore, he will do. He will preemptively activate a Daedalus. Oh, we, oh, you have Flash. Gee, crap. Uh, who's faster between you and your faster Zena? So you go ahead and do this. Should be able to pull this off, and you go for an Eclipse Guard, and we should be able to do this. Let's hope. Here's hoping. I can't do this, man. This move standbys all of your disease. It's like, why? I can't do my summons. Ugh, this this move kills, by the way. That move is an insta kill, but we have like. It doesn't, it's not like an insta-kill, it does like 600 damage, but... If you have a barrier up, you can handle it, but... Are you for real now, game? Uh, I can never do this. This is like... The Let's Play Course 101. I got three Dales, I don't think I can make it at all, there's no way. Unless this party survives long enough to pull another one out, which is highly improbable, but sure. At this point, I'm just attacking and hoping for the best. No pop that. Boom. Alright, what about the other party? Will we be able to do <laughs> enough damage to kill this guy? Eclipse is our way to go. If you have Catastrophe, that does a lot of damage, but don't have it. So we're just gonna Eclipse you all the way. Because that's the strongest thing we have. Okay, break is fine. Cause that's a waste. That's a waste of time. All right, Eclipsey. Yeah, I don't think. I don't think we'll be able to. But let's see. Come on. You still kicking? Okay, what do we have left? Hazel? 
Or Horus. I'm gonna do Horus. But if I do Hazu, I can't do Boreas. I'm gonna go Boreas. I mean... Why can't... Why isn't this not available? We got the Genies. Wait, wh what's going on? Oh, right, I can't do Jasmine, okay. Oh, because I was doing Aorus, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Right, so Boreas and then what? Then Moloch, I guess. Like, we don't have a lot of choice here. Come on. Elm Swap, okay, he wasted the turn. Agility down. Agility down! And he's still faster. Oh, is this gonna be it? Please. Please kill him. Why? First, okay, that's fine. Okay, we get another two summons. And then that's it. That's all we're getting. We might just be able to pull this off. There we go. Finally, after so much time, he's dead. There are ways to do this, other than just a s ignorant summon rush, but I can't be bothered, honestly. Yeah, revive yourself, Isaac. You're dead, you can revive yourself. Uh, the other party, thank you. For that, we get this. Which I've already shown what this is. It's the strongest summon in the game. Iris. You need nine Mars and nine Mercury to do this. And that's that. We are going to get out of here. Uh, if I can find... There you go. Uh, retreat, thank you. And teleport. And next time on Golden Sun 2, the finale.